Hi guys, this is Tornado, and in this video, I'm going to review the Game Boy Advance SP. Now, I know you're wondering why my SP is a bit old, because it was bought last 2004, so I've been using it for like 7 years, and yeah, it's pretty beaten up, but still working. So yeah, here's the uh, SP itself, outside, or when uh, it's closed, so... It looks like a mini laptop. Yeah, it looks like a mini laptop to me when I, uh, my aunt first bought this. And uh, originally, this is my uh, aunt's uh, Game Boy. And she gave it to me because, you know, she doesn't use it anymore. And uh, yeah, it's still working. So let's review this baby in a moment. Okay, so here is your Game Boy Advance SP. Now at the top, you have your Game Boy logo over here. At the right side, your on-off switch. Uh, this Game Boy has two LED indicators over here. Uh, this one indicates if it's charging or not. The color is orange. And this one indicates if your battery still has juice in it. Uh, I'll show you guys. If it's green, uh, the bat still has uh, the battery is still okay but once it turns red uh, it means you need to charge the battery the battery or yeah you need to charge the battery and at the top you have your left and right there uh, here you have your charger where you can charge your Game Boy and GBA link this is where you put your GBA link cable for data transferring and stuff, playing multiplayer games like Pokemon with your friends and this is where you can put a bracelet again if you have clumsy hands and at the bottom we have your uh, normal normal Game Boy uh, sticker here Game cartridge slot there over there and this is where the battery is okay. Uh, the battery is rechargeable, so don't worry about that. And another uh, fact about this: uh, you see the model number. It says AGS. Uh, let's focus it. It says AGS one zero one. Fun fact: there are two types of uh, Game Boy Advance SP one that is uh, backlit and one that is more brighter that means uh, the other one is brighter than the other Game Boy Advance SP uh, the one I got here the AGS 101 is the uh, brighted version of the uh, first Game Boy Advance SP uh, the model number of the first Game Boy Advance SP is the AGS uh, 001 which is just just a backlit screen and not that uh, brighter than this one so yeah it, it was released 2002 by Nintendo and oh my I don't know what is the production year 2007 yup and mm, that's much about it for the back and uh, this is a great system really and oh yeah there are other stuff written here like Focus Man. Mm -hmm. oh, come on, the focus is not there. Uh, it takes. How many volts is this? Okay, yeah. it takes 5.2 volts. Uh, the charger should be 5.2. And. Yep, that's much about it. And. I know you guys you want to see the battery so yeah I'll open this cover up so wait for a moment alright so I open the uh, back cover of the uh, system look at that it aged anyways here's the battery the amazing Japanese written Game Boy Advance uh, it takes lithium-ion battery it's a lithium-ion battery and 6000 milliamps uh, chargeable battery stuff like that uh, flipping it over I'll get it for you guys uh, 
here's the warning for the uh, how to use this battery so yeah warning do not short circuit battery contacts do not modify do not dispose in fire use and charge battery only with the Game Boy Advance SP lithium ion 3.8 volts 600 milliamps blah 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 Nintendo logo so this is the uh, rechargeable battery of the uh, Game Boy Advance SP it's cute right little rectangular battery yeah it's the weed positive negative uh, I don't know what's that called and yeah that's much about for the battery and here's the back of the uh, Game Boy without the battery cool right so yeah let's uh, close it up okay so I close the battery cover and yeah let's go to our game review uh, I put a game there I don't know what game is that it's a Japanese game it's my only game for the Game Boy Advance SP uh, I lost all my games don't know where I put them but anyways let's turn it on uh, oh yeah I forgot to show you the inside of the system so here is your d-pad start and select and start button a and B A and B and your brightness over there so let's turn this baby on. Oh yeah, and here's your Game Boy Advance logo, Game Boy Advance SP. So let's turn it on. Game Boy Advance. Now you are wondering why is the screen not bright? Let's fix that. There you go. It's more liner. Compare it. Let's push it again. It comes dark. The light dark brighter so yeah uh, this is a Japanese game so I don't know what's the name of this so here it is let's play it just a short gameplay just to show you the bright screen of this thing so here it is mm -hmm. oh my sorry I need to focus <laughs> sorry about that yeah. Oh no. Okay. Let's try to finish this game without getting hit. Yeah. 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 Yay! My first success without hitting the wall. So, the screen is really bright. I'm not sure if you can see it in the uh, camera. Uh, I'm playing outside actually as you can see there so yeah great system they really upgraded everything from the screen oh sorry from the screen there and the system itself sound uh, sad thing it doesn't have the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can't can't plug a headphone here so that's sad so yeah that's my review of the Game Boy Advance SP and maybe in my next video I am going to compare it with the Game Boy Color so do I like this system mm, a little uh, I'd say I still like this guy so don't cry Game Boy Advance SP <laughs> anyways uh, Oh yeah, I want to remind you guys again, the brighted edition is the AGS-101. The non-brighted edition is the AGS-001. If you want a brighter screen, but less battery life, go for the AGS-101. But if you want a better battery life, but uh, not that bright screen, go for the AGS-001. So yeah, I hope this video helps a lot. And thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Adios.